Hello Internet, Andrew Huang here again for LPX Studios. Welcome to another episode of How To. Here's a quick tutorial on how to set up call forwarding between your Samsung Galaxy device and your Samsung Gear S. So all you have to do is simply go into the Samsung Gear app first, scroll up to settings, then scroll down to call, auto call forwarding. Let that load up for a second there. And although I have a number here, yours is not. All you have to go is to is number setting. If you added your Gear S to your mobile share plan, you should have received a phone number for your SIM card that goes in the Gear S. So mine is displayed here, which will be censored out for my privacy. Um, but go ahead and you put that, you put your Gear S's number in there. Select OK. Yes, you want to. And then all you do is simply just turn it on. And there we go. And now you want to go into your Gear S and you want to go into your mobile networks. Make sure it's on auto on and off. Um, this is only for if you're going to be using it in injunction with your, your your Galaxy device. So when when it's on auto on or off mode, when the watch and the and the phone detect that they are both away from one another, it, the phone will automatically start forwarding calls to the watch, and the watch itself will also know to go, turn on call forwarding. And that's it. And to quickly know that you're in call forwarding or to whether or not you're on call forwarding. On your watch setting, go to settings, I'm going to call, and then you're going to want to turn on the auto call forwarding on the Gear S as well. So the number setting on here is going to be showing your Gear S, your Gear S's phone number. Right now, it's showing my, my Samsung Galaxy device's phone number because it's tethered to the phone right now. So all calls that I make from the watch and all calls that I receive are going right are going to be using my phone's number but as soon as it's on the Bluetooth network it will switch so I will quickly show you how that looks alright so what I did there really quickly was all I did was put the mobile network on always on and then I switched and I turned off the Bluetooth so now the watch and the phone are no longer tethered together so now when I go to call oh, it's, it's, there we go it says it's connected remotely it's going to give you a notice that you're connected remotely to your phone. And now when I go into call, the outgoing number is now my Gear S's phone number. So that's how you know that you're on, you're going to be on call forwarding. So there you have it, folks. Thanks for watching my video. If you have additional questions on more Gear S functions or Samsung Gear devices, go ahead and click that playlist right next here. If you have additional questions or just want to know more about other reviews and unboxings I've done, hit that next playlist button down there. If you haven't already done so, please hit that subscribe button down below to support my channel. And as always, if you have any questions, comments, both positive and negative, go ahead and leave them down in the comment section below. I'll be more than happy to answer all your questions. Thanks for stopping by and see you in the next video.